This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. I'm here in Malacca, Malaysia. I specialize in helping people find the best live or retire cheap uh, paradise locations around the world. And certainly Malaysia's in the running. And today I'm in Malacca, Malaysia. Um, and I'm going to show you um, the what I call my old town walking tour, which are the best historical spots you definitely don't want to miss while you're here. It'll give you a flavor for the city and whatnot. So welcome. Welcome to my tour. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. This is my video of the Malacca, Malaysia walking tour video and map. There's an interactive Google map for this walking tour. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video on your smartphone. At that link, you'll also find livability factors, cost of living, best areas to stay, tours, flights, walking tours, street art, um, the best experience for digital nomads, facts and history for this area and the best retire cheap in paradise locations in the world. Okay, back to our video. So this is the Chen Hung Temple here in uh, Malacca, Malaysia. And uh, this actually was built in 1645. It's uh, one of the oldest temples in all of Southeast Asia. And it, it, um, it combines the worship of Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. And, and, um, very beautiful, old, special place. And let me show you around. So that beautiful home behind uh, behind me that you're looking at is the Baba and Leonia Heritage Museum. Uh, here you'll learn about the uh, Peranakan culture of Malaysia. Uh, the residence built in 1861 housed four generations of Chan family before it was converted into a museum in 1985. The arts and artifacts of the Peranakan culture combine Chinese and Malay along with British influences. Um, that culture is no longer allowed in Malaysia because the, um, if a Chinese man marries a Malay woman, he's required to convert to Islam. And that's what this was. It was a Chinese man uh, with his religion, whether it be Buddhism or Taoism or Confucianism, married to a uh, Malay woman who uh, practiced Islam. So. Uh, but the, so there's museums. We took you to one in Penang. This one here is beautiful inside. You get a chance to go in and hear all about it. It's a great, great place. So this is Yonkers Street, it's a night market on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's the beginning of the year. And I'll show you videos of what it looks like uh, following this. Just a short clip so you'll know, but it's one of the most famous things. I'll find some mango or something like What'd you find? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Hello, yeah. bye bye.
What do you think of that mango? It's so Chung Hoi's Chung Hoi said the sauce was uh, soy sauce, sugar, and spice. Yes. On a mango, which I wouldn't have thought would be good, but it was delicious. So <laughs> buy it, find that old lady and buy it from her. She's very very happy. She deserves to sell more mango, huh? <laughs> So there's a bridge in front of uh, Junker Street and um, there's a walkway on either side of the street and so if you just walk down the little path you can see the people down there. And I've given you a little map, you just go up to the big bridge up there, you can actually go a couple bridges if you want and you'll see beautiful, uh, I'll show you some clips now of what you'll see. This is ground zero for Malacca World Heritage. It's called Red Square. Um, the Red Square was constructed in the 17th century, showcasing the colonial Dutch style. Um, the clock tower we were just looking at and the church in front of you now were built at that time, uh, the earliest buildings built. And um, Malacca was later handed over to the British in the late 19th century. This square includes a fountain honoring uh, Queen Victoria um, at that time. And the red church we were looking at is the oldest functioning uh, Protestant church in Malaysia. And that is the, that is the fountain uh, and not built in honor of Queen Victoria. Let me zoom in a little for you. Welcome to Ground Zero for Malacca. So behind me is St. Paul's uh, Hill and Church. Uh, this is the oldest church in Southeast Asia, built by the Portuguese in uh, 1521. This stop showcases the colonial and Portuguese uh, architecture. Here you will find the best pan panoramic view in the city. Um, in 1548, St. Francis Xavier a uh, Jesuit built the first modern school here. Uh, this church was the home base for Xavier's missionary work in China and Japan. When the British occupied Malacca, they used this church as a gunpowder magazine. And so this Malacca passed from the original people um, to uh, an Indian who eventually converted to Islam and then the Portuguese took it over in 1521 and then the Dutch showed up uh, and took it for about 150 years, I think around the mid uh, 17th century. And then it was traded by the Dutch uh, to the British. Uh, so the British occupied it for a while and the Dutch got an island somewhere in uh, Indonesia. So that's the uh, colonial history of, uh, of this area. This is, the ins this is the inside of the church. So you can see it has no. This ceiling. is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thanks for watching our video. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, or subscribe. That would really help our business. We'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>